Alright guys, um, with this whole ISS crap going on, I kind of was about to go to bed, but then I saw the feed come on, and I just, I only filmed for a little bit. I cut away there because I, I typed in the chat for a second. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a lot of cloud cover as usual, uh, weird, it just looks weird. And the music they play and everything, I just... <laughs> I just kept getting this like Truman Show impression while I was watching it. And it just was like creeping me out because I don't, I can't even, I'm trying to make at least the ISS like something. I never, I don't know. The ISS is like fake. There would be no reason for them to fake them like going around in it if it was real. And they have like a lot of like blending between scenes where guys are like disappearing. It's just weird. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys watch a little bit of this. And yeah, all these cutouts that, uh, this was live cutouts. It would take a second for them to come back. Now the and I just, uh, I don't know. Before I go, Why do something real like quick. Earth, like, this, see how bright this is and the black? I just feel like they could have, like if this, if it is really in space, balloons, which I don't think it is. They could have a lens that would like make their less less of a glare. Like if they're NASA, like give me a break. They have a retarded amount of money. Like it's like a five hundred dollar weather. Uh, they could put a you know like almost like a welder's thing over over the lens of this thing. No problem. That should be no problem. Really bright. I can't. Or not you know not as bright as like that. But this glare. What is it showing us? It's black and white. This is more symbolism to me. The black and white of these stupid things. It's more I symbolism like, than this is like a live feed, and they're like cutting it out. I don't, they're I don't trying to get people, get people discouraged from even watching it, having it look like absolute crap, so they don't even like miss even miss it going. But you know, you've seen all the Aurora Borealis yeah. ones and all these these ones that look like amazing. Like the different ones they give us, some look like promotional ads, some look like fucking construction paper. This looks like nothing more than construction construction paper to me. And this, this has like a real, this is the like a light the, behind it, and this is like a blue screen thing. It looks so bad. Like, are they trying to make it look bad? I don't even get it. I feel like they're laughing at their place when they do this stuff, and when they do the cutout, it's really this them like catching their breath and like trying to like you know put it together. And like the one of the guys is like reaching for the mouse, and then he's putting up the next scene, and then they just like laugh for a while about like how hilarious it is, and like the people in the comments. I mean, I put like intelligent comments, or at least what I think is intelligent, um, based on my logic. It's like black. And it feel I feel like the chat gets moved along kind of quick after that. People are to say say stuff like, "Oh, it's coming up to this uh, spot." Like, "Oh, yeah, here." Someone yeah, was saying like something say in the chat, like, "We're, we're gonna get a like it's gonna cut out right now." Why? Because it looks so like shitty, shit. Dude. This shit is like, um, it's it like cuts out again, like right real. after I this. I wonder why they're getting rid of it. Look at the lighting here. Like the lighting. I I mean, so they you dumb. don't people don't know what it looks like in space, but come on, the lighting is all sh like see me shaking up and down with the thing. It looks stupid. Like I said, it's more it's symbolism so here than stupid. I never is, even check uh, in on these. In actuality, I love how people it's like a video oh, tape, and then they put like black construction paper on the top, and then this this front layer is filmed with like a green screen, and it might these things might even be in like a diorama size thing. You know what I mean? What is going on? Here, there it goes again. Cut out. The the things up in the upper right, like those those could be like the size, you know, they might not be that big at all, and they're in like a diorama, it's green screen. They just film that, and then one layer, it's like filmed, um, and then that second layer is just like the construction paper and this upper shot. They have like stock footage. They probably have like a few hours of stock footage. They do the different angles and like different exposures. And that's it. Uh, and then every once in a while, like, you'll see them, like, working on something. But oh, that's just them in the underwater.
Like this, this could be like the underwater thing. That's what I think it is, honestly. They have like a pool underwater, and when they need to go out and do it, they do it, and then they they do the layer of like <laughs> the ISS in the background. I mean, it's pretty. It'd be pretty freaking easy, honestly. And what I don't get, it's like, all right, so a small, microscopic, little, tiny bit of the population knows like that you guys fake space. Like I try to tell people and they're like, oh, like, trust me, like you're fooling a lot of people. <laughs> it's, it's working. Uh, Cause they're just, they're sub, it's whether it be, yeah, look at this cheesy shit. Look at that girl. Give me a break. One second, the earth is wicked curve. And the next second, it's like, we live on like a ball, like the mileage around the globe looks different every angle. The curvature is different. So I have I have no idea what they're... They're doing a good job fooling people. And, uh, you know, even people look at... It's like the Challenger people are alive. Like, that's practically like a NASA blooper at this point. Yeah, so, like... People have more or less confirmed that crew um, does. So, like I said, that is practically, or it is, it's a NASA blooper. They wanted that to go out of sight from the public and then pick up right there. Like they were in space, they were going to play space. Uh, and it didn't go as planned. So, and they're like, like mo. It's just like common knowledge for for kids, like moon land. Like kids, I feel. I thought. I feel like kids know the moon landing was hoax, and uh, I mean, how? Why wouldn't you? Because they're saying that the Orion, which is the project NASA is working on now, they're trying to figure out. You know, scientists are trying to figure out. Their words, how to get through the Van Allen belts, which is radiation uh, a thousand miles above the Earth. And um, I just find it funny. It definitely has a lot to do with American pride. But other parts of the world have doubted the moon, moon landing since the very beginning. Because Russia was, you know, surpassing us in the space race and... All of a sudden, we were there first, and people doubted it. People were doubting it back then. Um, and then it's you gotta laugh when they say they recorded over the moon footage. It's like if it was real, um, what in the hell? Like, don't film over that. It's a like a great moment in our history. And, uh, because we need that. We need to show for future generations when people were just uh, fooled by, you know, trickery. And it's just funny, you know. We, we, why are you filming over that? Those will be a good laugh in the future. Like the cardboard box thing that uh launched from the moon that apparently someone stayed on the moon to film them launch the the craft i mean basic basic shit here people and they're still doing the same shit now you go i mean go to nasa.gov go to their mars gallery and explain to me how some of the pictures are taken from great distances away from the rover on a tripod from an above view. Nothing is connecting it to the rover. Uh, and they call the pictures selfie pictures. Um, yeah, and I'm not the first to mention that. And their ga their gallery is just a, it's more of like an art gallery. Can, uh, graphic art. Photo. Photo editing. 
But yeah, these guys are kind of in like a stalemate right now because people demanded ISS. It came on. It was junk. Like really, it was junk. I think they tried to make it seem like they got all these like UFO enthusiasts like hype on, you know, maybe UFOs. And I'm not doubting that there's technology we don't know about. But I mean, guys. The UFO was the smokescreen to make it seem like that's why they were pulling the cameras down. They're pulling the cameras down because they're just hiding something even bigger than space. Um, it's like you can't you can't not get that Truman Show feeling when you watch. They got the piano playing. It's like all I was thinking. It's just. <laughs> It's, it's fucking crazy. It's like a video feed with like some black construction paper. Like it's a little bit better than that. I could probably make an ISS feed more or less. I'll get one going live and we'll see how close I can get to like theirs. Right? Won't that be a fun thing?